That was definite. But that's the matchup today because Antonio Brown's going to get doubled. And here's the drop back in the deep ball. Roethlisberger trying to find Brown. They got knocked down at the 20. Lattimore on the coverage. This was shocking. No help over the top. And Brown gets behind him. And I actually think he had a step or two. And Ben just leaves it inside. But Latimer does a good job making a play on that ball. Pick up the blitz. Roethlisberger's pass. A little too high. Trying to connect with Antonio Brown, who's been held to only one catch so far that went for a loss of one yard. Well, they bring the pressure up the middle. Ben does a good job standing in, and it's great protection. But the, there's the route I wanted to see. Look at Latimer. He's got outside leverage. It's actually a double team. That's why. And two. Pulled down by Brown and out of bounds. Antonio Brown able to make a play. He's been anxious for one. You know it as he shakes hands with Fichtner, his offensive coordinator. Thank you very much for calling my number. <laughs> this is... This really is uncoverable. Latimer's in perfect position. Roethlisberger throws a perfect back shoulder, and Brown plays Latimer to be like, oh, the ball's not coming, and then, whoop, stop my body, go up and get it. Like, it was just this great. Roethlisberger sees a corner on the running back. He knows it's zone. He wants to get this ball underneath quickly. It goes to Brown. With a blocker in front, he picks up 11. We saw when he caught it that Ramon Foster was over there to help. Foster's the left guard. He's going to get out. He's going to pretend like I'm going to block a lineman and then go on out and get a linebacker, creating the lane for Brown. Fires it. And it's Brown now starting to heat up in front of Lattimore. A great job by design. So when Antonio Brown comes down into the slaughter, basically it's hard to double team with both those two guys because he's inside. So he runs wide and runs to the sideline. Latimer can't get that much help because he goes across the field quickly. He's got a cover. So out of the gun. Fires it. Pulled down. Again, it's Brown who's having a big series. His fourth catch. On a drive that began back at the three. Well, it's a zone blitz, and he goes up and finds a curl. And the timing of that route and throw, Ben kept his eyes down in the middle of the field and then turns and fires. From the 28. And that pass thrown in the area of, of Antonio Brown. There was good pressure applied. Yeah, and the pressure was huge because Rodgers had a touchdown. He became wide open right after. But Cam Jordan got that pressure. And he's been in on a couple of plays. Of course, he was in the news a little bit this week with some remarks that were not so flattering about Ben Roethlisberger, saying that he didn't think he was one of the top five quarterbacks of his era. Didn't think he was a Hall of Famer, basically, is the short of it. Well, he's, he's wrong. <laughs> he's way wrong. Ben, ben is a Hall of Famer, and he's, you know, he's going to go down as... You know, obviously an incredible quarterback in this sport. He wants one more Super Bowl. That's what he said yesterday. And he's got a shot to do it if they can get in the playoffs this year. There's a completion for a first down to Antonio Brown. So we asked, we asked Roethlisberger last night, as you see this pass on the mark. Just a simple curl route right in front of Latimer's zone coverage. Back in the end zone, and that's off of one hand of Antonio Brown. Well, this is a really interesting coverage that I haven't seen a lot. You look at the safety in the corner, you're like, okay, he's going to double team. But watch when Brown goes inside. He passes him off. And now the safety has to cover him. And now Banjo has to run with him. And Ben just missed him. He was open. He ran. Roethlisberger in zone and caught by Brown for the touchdown. Get that open communication this is twice now new orleans what a play by brown they're running a pick inside but watch latimer's on him and then lets him go P 
P.J. Williams is covering Smith-Schuster inside, and it's a pick play, and they're using Brown to pick for him. The problem is P.J. Williams has to communicate with Latimer and vice versa. One of them is wrong. Extra point by Boswell. So touchdown drives for each side. Brown with his 14th touchdown reception of the season. And now reestablishing a team record with 14. First and 10. Directing and firing and completing to Antonio Brown all the way down to the New Orleans 40. Straight cover two, which means the corners are in the flat, safeties are high, and once you give Roethlisberger... This is surprising. New Orleans is struggling to stop somebody. I mean, this doesn't happen at home very often. End zone bound. What a catch! Are both feet down? They say out. This is unbelievable. This is the, I mean, the throw is absolutely perfect. The catch is absolutely perfect. <laughs> the defense is absolutely perfect. And is he in? One. Oh, that looks out. Oh, my goodness. That was one of the funnest plays to watch. Look at this. I got it. Yep. Oh, you got to be more aware, AP, when you catch it with one hand like that. Uh, when you turn your head for Pass to the end zone. Pull down. Touchdown. Antonio Brown for the second time today. To come out with this play and this design, it's going to be hard to describe this to you, but this was... Coming out, they thought they would get a double team man, Antonio Brown, and they do. But it's not the double you normally see. They go bracket in and out. One guy's inside, one guy's outside. So what you do as a quarterback is say, run right between them. An extra point delivered again by Boswell. And that bracket coverage usually takes you off people because any route that breaks in or out. But if you run right between them, you run through the guys, and you'll see him go right up this spot. And the safety's trying to design or trying to hide where he's at. But that's the one way to beat what we call bracket coverage. You're bracketing that guy. And beautifully designed coming out of the timeout. Wow. They knew what they were getting, and then they, they went out and just executed it. And that becomes a record-setting throw for the pitch. Somebody they must have it. told them. <laughs> yeah. Now they run it four out of five. Pass play sideline. Brown with the catch. Mm. You really can't let Brown keep beating you like this. It's a, it's a double, but it's... Just a perfect throw. I mean, look at that throw. It's an inch over Bell's hand. It's on the sideline. It's going to get difficult here. And on the other side, big time play by a star defensive end. Which allows for it to be able to get that yep. open lane. We're going to throw to Brown for free. Right. Here's the third and 14. Brown cuts it back. Going to be stopped short. Three and out for Pitts. There was movement. Full start. Offense. Number 84. Still on the He's one on one. Fourth and 15. Roethlisberger throws. Caught. Saints say it was not caught. Officials say yes it was. Brown with the grab. He's in bounds. Yes he is. Does he hold? He drags it and the right foot was planted. That's a catch. Brown comes back from the double team all the way back to the sideline. It's gonna, it looks like it's gonna be a 
a booth review, but uh, pretty clear evidence that Brown made a, a great play, and so did Roethlisberger. And that gives Pittsburgh a little time while they look it over to get organized. He secures it. Right foot planted. I don't think there's a bobble there. No. Do you see one? I, I don't think so. I think this is going to stand. Gene's territory. You see anything? After there's Wolstead. The ruling on the field is confirmed. It is a catch of the sideline and a first down Pittsburgh. Still a long way to go, though. Yeah, but fourth and 15. Ball comes out. Smith Schuster coughed it up. He's on top of a defender.